unsure of the the exact severity of um, Luca's left ankle. Um, one of the good things is it's it's the good ankle. It's not the one that he sprained a few times in the last couple of years. Um, so we'll know tomorrow. We'll know more tomorrow. Um, but he did come. He did come back and, and try it. Obviously, and wasn't moving. Wasn't moving great. So um, we'll see where he is uh, come tomorrow and then. Sunday morning. Look like the, uh, the Clippers hit you with more physicality. At least start off, and, and you guys seem to respond. But what happened in the second quarter? Yeah, and I told uh, well, the second quarter. Uh, I told Sarge. Sarge is on. You know, we fouled them too much. They had 13 free throws in that quarter. They had zero in the first quarter. The defending without fouling is really important in this series, in any playoff series. Um, you know, when they're marching to the line and, and putting points on the board and getting their defense set, it, it, it makes the game much more difficult. So, look, we tied the first quarter. We won the second half. You know, the, the, our undoing was the second quarter. And, you know, it's 48-minute game, so, you know, you got to put 48 – Really good minutes together. I, I thought a, a positive, a, a significant positive was, you know, the, the way we responded early. You know, they came out with uh, the different lineup, um, you know, more more force, more physicality, and uh, you know, we 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 did well um, during that quarter. But the second quarter was was uh, really hit us hard. And Anya. Um, how was the determination made that, that he would come back into the game? After he was, was that just him saying on time? He would get retaped, and then um, my trainer told me that that he wants to give it a go, and so uh, you know, <laughs> the answer is going to be yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> you know, that's that's what we did, and um, so you know, again, it's it's hard to say. How this is going to be um, on Sunday? The game is early Sunday, which doesn't help things. But um, but we'll see. We've got you know every um, advanced treatment modality that that you can have, as every team here does. And um, you know we'll see we'll see how this responds in the next 36 hours. Go to Joe. And then Rick, right along with that, uh, with 902 left, he came out. Was it just because he wasn't moving well, or the score, or what? What went into that? Yeah, he he was not moving well, and it was there was a, a gesture that you know this isn't working out. Um, so, to my knowledge, there was not no you know um, further progression of the injury or anything like that. He just he just couldn't play his game and. Uh, and so, you know, the right thing was to get him out at that point. Who made the gesture? Well, he did. McMahon. Yeah, he just said. That, he just said, you know, this is, you know, I just can't, I just can't move. You know, uh, he didn't say anything. You just, you just tell. Rick, obviously, Kawhi is a problem for anybody. Um, how do you feel like Maxi has been able to uh, try to compete against him and? How much do you have to look at maybe some potential other uh, solutions there? We'll look at everything. Um, you know, it's a seven-game series. We're three games in. Uh, you know, you play a team like the Clippers, you gotta you know, be ready to throw the kitchen sink at them. Um, and you know, you're referring to double teams and other matchups. Um, you know, we'll uh, we'll look at all that stuff. Um, and, and, and study it. You know, it, it's just we've got to do a better job um, keeping him from getting layups. You know, the, the, the difficult two point shots fading away. I mean, he's, he's a great player. You know, he's going to make his share of those. Um, but the layups are the ones that, that really get get us. And, and so we'll look at that and, um, you know, we'll look at everything. Okay, last one is Tim Cato. 
Hey, Rick, uh, just going back to, to Luca, you know, when, when uh, obviously he came out, he wasn't looking right when, when he did signal to the bench and came out. Um, I assume the, the decision to play him that is made with no regret. When you're given the okay, that is, that is baked in with the assumption that at worst, even if he's not 100%, he's not going to re-injure himself when he's on the court. Is, is that right? That's certainly um, the hope, and, it, and it's the assumption. And he didn't, he didn't further injure it. Um, you know, he just wasn't able to move the way you got to move in a, in a playoff series, you know, against a top seeded team. So, um, getting him out was the right thing. And, uh, so look, we just, we got to see if we can, um, help him get significantly better by Sunday. And if it's not Sunday, then, you know, possibly Tuesday, um, but we'll know we'll know more in the next day or day and a half. Thanks. Thanks, Rick.